any list of technologies affecting filmmaking in 2023 would absolutely have to include artificial intelligence. After decades of not really much, AI took off in the last couple of years as affecting the filmmaking process at almost every level. So today I wanted to dive in, talk about the five things that I'm currently using that feature AI in my filmmaking process. And at the end, talk a little bit about what I think AI will change for filmmaking going forward. I really love working from storyboards as a visual person. They give me a better way to keep the film that I want to make in my head, to plan my shots, to communicate to the actors and my crew what my shot size is, how it's going to transition, how the edit's going to go together. It used to mean hiring a professional storyboard artist. What I would typically do is do my own little stick figures, send them to the storyboard artist to render into professional storyboards, show those to the client or use them on set. There are now a ton of AI generating storyboards. The one that I've used a little bit of is called app.boards.com. I've only used the free version. You basically just write in a prompt like you would on something like Mid Journey or Firefly, but it's storyboard specific. So you deal with a lot less random information. For instance, in this one, I said the film opens on an empty city at night and you get this amazing visualization of streets and skies. Girl alone looks up at the moon and you get this amazing thing. Now you can adjust this, uh, ask for it in different styles and different prompts, but all by yourself without any other input, you're able to generate really beautiful storyboards in any style that you want. What I would like is to be able to visualize these storyboards to music. So to be able to select music and then have an AI cut these together to give a sense of how long each shot will need to be, how much visual interest I'll need, what the edit will be, what the flow will be. That may still be a couple of years away, but this is a really good start. Get a sense of how your scene is going to come together. There really is no better way to try out a scene than with these great storyboards and a little bit of ingenuity to music you will know before you've even stepped on set whether or not your scene is gonna work in the way that you want it to. The second way that I'm using AI for my filmmaking is with DaVinci Resolve 18.6. There are a bunch of AI features in this new version, including Magic Mask, where instead of rotoscoping around your character as it moves through the shot, AI will do it for you. You just have to select where your character is. It will track it pretty instantaneously. And then you can then grade your actor separate from the background. You can create depth, you can create color separation, you can even introduce noise or haze in the background. And instead of spending hours on set finessing the lighting, you know, or painting the background, you can now do that much, much more easily in post with this kind of magic mask separation. A third way I'm magnifying the reach of these videos is using a website called Opus Clip. It's opus.pro. I just input my YouTube videos in 16.9 and it goes through them and uses AI to select the most interesting parts, adds the Homozy subtitles and splits them into individual clips, gives them clickable titles and even can upload them directly to TikTok, Instagram and YouTube shorts. This is something that I was paying someone to do or spending hours to myself and it's now all taken care of. And the last couple of months has got me hundreds of thousands of more views on the content that I had already made. The last thing I wanted to talk about was language and voice changing. There is AI technology, which is already there in the phone apps for um, talking heads, but is soon going to be in much, much wider applications of being able to change someone's voice. You're going to be able to change someone's voice from one language to another or change lines by giving the AI a sample of the actor's voice and then the line you, that you want them to deliver. This would be amazing for getting around reshoots when you screen your film and you realize that you need an extra line from your actor rather than get the actor back, rebuild the set, get the crew together for just a couple of lines. AI can generate those for you from the lines that you already have. This lets you rewrite the film for the better in post and is going to be an incredible technology once it matures in six months or 12 months time. I know that AI can be really scary. It does feel like a lot is going to be replaced, but I actually think it is going to replace the mindless editing and uh, reshoot work and allow us as filmmakers more creativity and more time to do the thing that we do best, which is come up with ideas and bring those ideas to life. So rather than sitting on the sidelines, I would rather be part of the revolution and 
use technology and observe the AI revolution from within. If you want to know more about filmmaking, check out countermasterclass.com. I have a ton of tutorials, much more in-depth. And I'll leave a link to the websites that I spoke about in this video below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh,